Hello and welcome to Warblog. Uh, this is the Battle of Najaf. Um, I haven't even done the screenshot yet, so I won't bother faffing around with going from the start. Um, I've only just finished it, so it could be lots wrong with it. But um, I didn't mean to do this. Um, essentially, well, I haven't done the screenshot, but we can accept that. I'll do it in a bit. There it is there. But um, I thought oh, I'll do this, and I, did, I sort of googled for the um, for the whatnot, the you know some background, and I found this map, and I thought oh well that must be the map because it's quite high up in the sort of thing. So I started to make a map, but it wasn't actually the map for Nasiria. That's why this is not called the Battle for Nasiria because this is actually the Battle for Nasiria. This one here. Because um, once it's sort of labelled up in the database, it's pretty hard to undo. Um, so I had to rename this. So I can. I've got a workaround. It's complicated, but basically, so I did this. Uh, it took me a while to realise that it wasn't the same map. But this is actually not far off, and it's pretty interesting. <laughs> There's a number of reasons, and I'm probably not going to get through just even explaining what's happening here, other than to say that they have a lot of troops and I'm not sure whether the whole of the 101st was used whether it was just the 1st Brigade but I put all three of them in I mean, I haven't put even their artillery or their command elements you know there's you know I've pretty much I pretty much sort of um, done, thing as, done things as the Wikipedia article states um, I mean it goes in Essentially, four stages. They take Jenkins, which is here, and then they take Floyd, which is here, and then they surround. You can see, look, it says the Battle of N Nasira. It's not. That's where it comes in. It, I should really maybe try and sort that out, but Najef, so looking up there, you don't know that's where I look. Uh, so, the, and the, so the third stage is they surround Najif, um with just a couple of battalions and you get reading all this stuff I mean they, they attack Jenkins with an air defence unit and uh, so there it is there's the 1st Brigade combat 1st Brigade combat air defence battery and I've even had to up it a bit they go in with some AH-640D longbow Apache helicopters and they all get blown to bits um, which is why everywhere has got lots of lots of anti-aircraft um, and they sort of think well hang on so they send in to take this objective which sort of they describe as being held by us you know 1200 irregulars um, and all along they got these huge regiments, 25, 25. Why are they sending in air defence companies? You know, even describes what sort of air defence they had. Um, the only available unit to take it was an air defence battery equipped with an M6 Bradley linebacker. Oh, equipped with M6 Bradley linebacker armoured vehicles along with... An, reconnaissance units and air forward, forward air controllers you know these linebackers were probably where well, they slept I don't know Any, anyway I've, I've upped it just to sort of reflect that but it sort of says when they got there they got under heavy fire I mean they're not going to do anything but you know it's a semi-model semi-game so but the thing to thought, bear in mind first I think is that I think they take these two objectives and there's no description I can find at this moment because I only really just, just got the basics done um, I don't think there's any much object and, and and they they hold this objective raiders and rams um, and there could be other towns and features this is pretty complex because it's so involved I mean the um, if you want involved <laughs> you just have to look at this I mean, this goes on forever. I mean, look at all that. 101st Airborne Division. There it is. Look at them all. But this is, I mean, this goes on forever. You know, 
and you know talks about captains or commanders walking across the bridge you know there's little things like but the first thing I want to get to because I know I'm not going to get through all of this because it's so much what they were doing they were making very quick ground through Iraq heading for Baghdad I think the change in strategy was to instead of and this this is very this is this is sort of pretty key um, when you look at the preceding one, which I think is sort of the preceding one, here exactly the same situation. Instead of they're trying to, this is the road to Baghdad, sort of. Um, instead of sort of going through here, they basically just go straight through here, take the bridge, and continue towards Baghdad. And then they put blocking forces, but the blocking forces were sort of the, the, the Iraqis were sort of then carrying out attacks on the lines of communication. Um, and so what they did in this scenario, they decided to basically, um, they're doing the same strategy, so the 101st is sort of coming all the way up here, and they're just going up this road, you know, they're not really bothering uh, with anything, but they do want to cross this, because essentially, and I don't know why I've got the rest of this road, but I think this road, base, this is the road to Baghdad, so, so basically they're coming up here, ideally, up here, and then down here, and then heading off this way. And they're ignoring Anjef, Najaf. They're ignoring it. But the thing is, because they don't want these units attacking their lines of communications, they, they then surround it. And then when they surround it, they're basically the one from first with some support from a battalion of all things. You know, an entire division. I can't, you know, might as well bring your mum in support, you know, if you've got a division. Um, they then take it. And by then, there's not a lot. Now, the, the, because it's this air defence unit with its few armoured cars seems to sort of, you know, make some progress. They don't really do everything, but they, they do take the bridge. Um, and then the, the, the forces that capture this one, so this, this happens at about 12 o'clock, and we can even get the, the, the times, um, 1 a.m. in the morning, so it's all dark. Um, this happens at 1 a.m. and then they do this attack at about 10:30, um, and there's a massive sandstorm. But I can't reflect that. So at 10 o'clock. So they've had a whole night of fighting, and then the, 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 when they when the units that attack this, which again is quite small, but at least it's a battalion of armoured vehicles, uh, mechanised infantry. Um, they then come up here, and then support, you know, the air defence. Italian. They, they, they do get a little bit of help later on. Um, these, the the third, seventh cavalry. So they come on. Uh, uh, so and and the way I'm doing it, the units that are associated with Jenkins are all Jenkins, Jenkins, Jenkins. So all these are Jenkins. Now because of that, they do. It does actually stay in there that they get artillery support. Um, Yeah, fighting throughout the night, the men made slow progress. I wonder why. Perhaps they couldn't hit them with their anti-aircraft surface-to-surface surface-to-air missiles. You know, perhaps they're missing. You know, I mean, what are they using? Their bolt-action rifles. I don't know what their backup weapons are. Um, but they call in some artillery strikes on the entrenched Iraqis. Well, the only way I can make that sort of at least give them a bit of something in their favour is basically by giving them quite a lot of artillery. To support, so they're all on mission Jenkins, and then so they come on on turn two. Now this is only really to give you, oh, they they come on straight away, so they're all there. This is only really to sort of help you separate which ones went for Jenkins, which one went for Floyd, which ones went for the surround. So, oops, sort of secret stuff there. Um, so and then the surround. And so the ones for the surround are, um, they're flagged up as Najaf. So these units basically do the surround. Um, this, this is Alpha Company, the 2nd Battalion, 7th Infantry. And there's the rest of the 2nd Battalion. So there's three more. So these, comp these, these units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 
two battalions select from the companies, they do the surround. And then after the surround, these units come in. But uh, the way I sort of see it is that um, they probably, let's maybe go into play mode now, or, or maybe not. Um, they probably, I just want to get a drawing tool, I can't have a drawing tool when I'm not in play mode. They probably all come up and consolidate around these objectives. I, I can't imagine that, you know, they just set these units off on, the, on their own. But that's basically the nuts and bolts of it. And, and I think the key thing here, strategically, is that they were rushing for Baghdad and they were just ignoring. Why fight these towns? They can just leave them and bypass them. You know, all they want was this bridge. Um, let me have a look at the map. Hmm. If you look at the strategic map, I'm pretty sure this road goes off here and then they cross here and then this road takes them to the other side of the Euphrates and it's quite key because they have two forces on either side of the Euphrates. Um, although I'm not sure where it was, whether they crossed it at the um, Nasiria. I'll go into play mode now because we've got four minutes left. Um, so this guy shouldn't be there. Yeah, he, he comes on for Floyd, so he should really be delayed for the Floyd. So he should come in on, on turn two. Um, but these, there was a sandstorm, you see, so they couldn't really use the helicopters, even though they were getting attacked, and it was a bit controversial as to whether or not the Apaches were armoured enough, because they all got hit, and a couple of them came down, um, and it was a complete disaster. Um, but they were just sort of saying whether well, it was the planning and the support because they used them again later and to good effect in, in another scenario. But the thing is, although there's a sandstorm for Floyd it, and nothing, and you couldn't use helicopters because nothing could fly like that, they would use they were using GPS guided missiles, so they're flying quite high and they're actually bombers. So we've got a few firsts in this because these are helicopters and they're bombers. Now these helicopters will you know, get multipliers from air defence. So they're going to get shot down, but the bombers, the air defence can't do it. I mean, you know, the, the, the guns that they had, according to this, with that thing I had just a minute ago, they were just like heavy machine guns, 50 cal, and Russian ones. Um, and they're not going to touch these bombers, so they're going to pretty much just go around bombing. You get five turns of that. Um, and it should be quite effective, but they could fire in all weather, so to speak, because they flew above the storm and then their bombs were laser guided, uh, GPS guided. Um, so that's sort of pretty much it. The only other thing is when they say infantry divisions, that should be on turn two, let's just see how this helicopter, because I haven't used the helicopter rules yet. He got, he was at quarter strength, so three quarters of his units uh, were damaged. But he still did some damage, virtually nothing at all. So that was almost perfect. And it worked. I'm not going to use that because it doesn't come on until turn two. And it doesn't actually, he supports Floyd, which will probably take a while. It, yeah, but the thing I was going to try and get to, and, and this artillery, because it was part of the Floyd um, units, should should actually say at the end, yeah, Jenkins. This is all part of the Jenkins stuff. You can see it in bold, in uppercase. The whole idea is you put your artillery here and you support it. And with the artillery, they should be able to do something. Um, here comes the conveniently timed choo-choo train. The whole building shakes when this thing goes past. Um, so, so that's pretty much it. So in 15 minutes, really interesting scenario. As I said, gives you a fairly good idea of just missing all the cities, driving straight for Baghdad, and um, yeah, and, and that's that's pretty much it. So if you enjoy that, um, you know, sign up and uh, give it a whirl and see what you can um, 
invade Iraq faster and better than the um, 